Vision operated. Our scores in 20, Ben, only seven ahead on 27 as we head for our last games tonight. And from this position, absolutely anybody could take it. So, Ben, some more letters, please. Can I get a consonant, please, Lily? Thanks, Ben. T. And another one? C. And another one? R. Um, and a vowel, please. A. And another vowel? U. And another vowel, please. Another A. A consonant, please. Y. Um, and another consonant? S. And finally, a vowel, please. And to finish, O. Thinking time. Six, Richard. Six for you. And uh, Ian? Also six. Let's have yours first. Crusty. That sounds good. Ben? And I had uh, carrots as in joy. Carrots. Could you just spell that for us? Yes, it's uh, C-A-R-A-T-S. That's right. Uh, not carrots that go crunch, kids. Carrots as in the measure of fineness in gold or in diamonds. Perfectly fine. Good sixes. Uh, I found actuary in those first seven. That is a statistician who measures uh, risk and was hoping that Ben would ask for a consonant as that last uh, letter for the possibility of sanctuary. Didn't come up and actuary was the best. Actuary, nice find. Ben and Ian, six each. It's time for the final numbers, and Ian, we have now identified you as a dangerous mathematician on the loose, <laughs> making rash choices uh -huh. with the uh, Rat Pack last time. This time? I'd like some slightly larger rats this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, but I'll still go for the rats. Oh, right. Okay. Still the Rat Pack. <laughs> <laughs> a man and his rodents are never separated. <laughs> Six small numbers. Let's hope there's a ten in the mix this time. Uh, our numbers. Two, seven, ten. Five, four, seven. And the target to reach is 219. More achievable.
So, adding a further 10 to his score, now with a total of 53, our winner tonight is Ben. But great to have you with us, Ian, and uh, it was a pleasure to see you releasing those two Rat Packs on the show. I think it had uh, to be done. It had to be done. It had to be done. It was just vital. The other thing that has to be done is that we need to give you a Macquarie Dictionary. Thank you, Richard. It's been fun. And Ben, you played very well and nice to wrap it up with the conundrum at the end there. It was nice to get it. I rarely get it at the time. Well, good here, and you'll be back tomorrow night for another chance at the same thing. I certainly will. Well, all the fun of the fair on tonight's show, David. In fact, the modern fair should also have pout training, uh, where all the adults pay two dollars and learn from the three-year-olds. <laughs> That's a very nice, a very nice suggestion. Good use of the word prune. <laughs> and uh, now, Lily, because uh, David suggested earlier there at the fun fair, there should be a, a Cerner dip. But uh, any suggestions from you? Well, maybe um, a jumping astal. <laughs> <laughs> How would that work? Yeah, maybe um, self-inflated, I oh. think. <laughs> 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 yeah, demonstrating how it's done. Well, we look forward to that. Uh, perhaps at some future fair time. See you, Lily. See you, David. That is it for letters and numbers for tonight. If you would perhaps like to challenge yourself further, you could register as a contestant on the show. We'd love to have you here. Just head to the website for all the details. And, of course, you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. We will see you again tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Good night.